Hey guys, Zachy Wack here, back with another video. Today, I will teach you how you can start making your own obby in Roblox Studio. An obby is a game where you navigate through checkpoints and obstacles while trying not to fall to your death. Here's an example of one that I made. Okay guys, let's get started. First, open up Roblox Studio. And if you don't know Roblox Studio, then I recommend you to check out my previous video where I explained the interface and details of Roblox Studio. Okay, so let's get started. First, go to Roblox Studio and select the base plate template. So this spawn location here is going to be where we first spawn in the game. Now go to your Explorer, select base plate, Right click and click delete. So now let's create our first few obstacles. For the first part of the hobby, let's just add a few blocks. I'm going to add a few squares, but you can add anything like spheres, cylinders, triangles, etc. So to do this, click part and select the shape you want. I'll choose square. As you can see, it shows up here and under workspace as part. Now move this around to where you want it to be using the move tool. Now scale it to how big you want it to be using the scale tool. And don't forget to anchor all the parts so they don't fall to the void. Now, let's quickly test it to see if you can jump this distance in a game. It works. Now, let's duplicate them using Control D. I'll make about five. There, we're done with the first stage. Now, this kind of looks bland and dull, so let's change the color of these parts. Now that we have our first stage, let's organize all these parts and make a folder for them. I'm going to call it stage one. Then drag all of the parts to this folder, except for the spawn. Okay, now let's create checkpoints. We'll be using them so that if a player touches a checkpoint and then dies, they won't have to restart the obby. They just respawn at their latest checkpoint. So let's go to workspace, create a folder and call it checkpoints.
Now drag your spawn location into this folder. Rename it to stage one. Guys, it's really important to name your parts the same as me because Roblox identifies stage one by its name. More on that later. So next, go down to the teams folder and make a brand new team. Rename it to stage one. So how this works is players are assigned to a team when they reach a certain checkpoint. So if you touch this first checkpoint, you are assigned to team one. When a player of a certain team dies, they respawn on their team's checkpoint. Now go to the spawn location and assign the team color to, let's just say red. Also, enable allow team change on touch. Now go to teams, select stage one, and change the team color to the one that you just set your checkpoint to, in this case, red. Now let's duplicate this spawn location and move it to the end of the first stage. Then rename it to stage two. Disable neutral. And change the team color to let's say yellow. Then go to the teams folder make another team called stage two and change the team color to your team color on the stage two checkpoint, in this case, yellow. Do the same thing with all of your checkpoints later on. Okay, now let's test the first part of our game. As you can see, it works perfectly. When I touch this checkpoint, it, it changes me to stage two. Okay guys, that's it for today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future programming and game development tutorials. Bye.